Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Empire of Mongolia. Not the Mongolian Empire though, that is a different tag. <laughs> but we are going for the Great Khan Achievement in patch 1.29 and we're probably going to also get back in control achievement considering you kind of have to, unless you don't form UN, but we're going to. Um, all we need to do is to annex him, which we will... We are able to do currently, we just have to finish up this war. Very cool. I don't think we actually need you guys over here. Yeah, we have no unrest, so let's get you guys over here. And we're just gonna kind of slowly build up on our tech as well. Next, global trade will be coming here pretty soon. That being said, I have a few trade centers I can upgrade. Have a level two over here. Oh, you son of a gun. Mawa, peace out. Yeah, get out of my land. He just devastated my capital, you son of a gun. You son of a gun. As I'm talking about all this prosperity, he devastates my capital. I'm done. Anyways, let's uh, Let's get this war sorted out here. <laughs> yeah, I have to get you guys um, unblack flagged, ideally without taking, you know, 4% attrition at all times. Get you guys over there and get you guys over here. The forts are our strength, or a little bit of both. 20 and 10. So due to him being a martial educator, we get both of them, but for not as long of a time. Well, in that case, I'm going to take Siege Ability. It's a cool little event, though. I like that. <clears throat> so Korea is not even close to being mean again. So let us go to... We don't need his money. We don't really need anything from him, honestly. Let's go to Admin. What's our siege tick days looking like over here? So this is mountains, I believe. Highlands. 22 day siege, tick, siege ticks? It's okay. Not bad considering... Okay, so this province specifically has its own V. V is the button I'm looking for. Must be a, an event for Katmandu or something. We just gotta... Honestly, we're just waiting. And we are maxed out on mill, and we're 150% over ahead of time, so... Looks like we're uh, putting some points into manpower and deving. There you go. Raising that max force limit. Or not force limit, but uh, speaking of that, we need a bigger army. Hey now, don't be doing that. Um, I can lose the manpower, it doesn't matter to me. We're gaining, gaining it back in a year and a half. Hmm. I would like to full annex him, but he's gonna have to peace out. Hmm. So Tang is probably gonna take a bunch of this land. There's not. Wait. Oh, this is his land as well. I didn't even see that. All right. So. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way I can handle this. Um, let's see here. So you guys are building up those, and then we will also build up some of these guys. Gonna need plenty of them, so we could land troops in Japan. <clears throat> can make states over here. Um, we're about to take tech, so I'll wait on it. Okay, so there we go. He peaced out with Ming. Um, that means we can actually get on his capital. So, Jin, if you would do that, that would be great. Please. I'll send my men over there to relieve you. Jin, hey. I just don't want Timba or Tsang to get on his capital. Though, realistically, maybe I kind of do. It's hard to say. 
so he's got some men coming up here. Then we got some rebels that are raising ruckus over here. Timurids can uh can hate me for all I literally couldn't care any less, honestly. We still have a truce with them. For quite a while. Oh, they won. Very cool. Gonna go wipe out these rebels for me? Goodness gracious, look at that. Okay. Um well, I'm gonna need all of this eventually. Bhutan. <laughs> the Thunder Dragon Empire, right? That's a Hoi 4 reference for you guys. Let's see here. Um Sang, you gotta you gotta peace out, man. I really would rather not because I have a feeling he's gonna take like all of like these two provinces and then leave like a bunch of border gore. I could chain these wars together. <clears throat> Suppose I will. Because we have until, what, we have like another six years of truce with you. So it's not worth worrying about here. We'll take this immediately. And keep that trade income up. Trade efficiency and prestige or hoard unity? New business opportunities. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, influx of exotic goods. Mongol demands. I guess I'll take the corruption. I don't care a whole lot. Financially, we're good. I would really like for him to peace out. Actually, I could attack him right now, I think, for conquest. Unfortunately, it's a conquest, but... And I could actually use that to fully annex both of them. Let's see if I can do that. Nope. 7th of April. Ugh, I hate to do conquest, but... It's gonna be my best bet to uh, get this war to finish up the way that I'm wanting it to. So he has like no army to worry about. I still don't want to get stack wiped so I need to be careful but... Just getting these guys all spread out over here. Get, oh, that's a nice siege. Look at this siege. 10 day siege takes. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. Let's get you guys spread out over here. And get you guys over here. Can't beat it. That's honestly as good as it gets. <clears throat> Alright, so I just want what I need from him. So I will take that. I don't care if he's still alive. Because I just want what I have claims on. Ooh. Bummer. Okay. And I can't take any of this because I don't... Mm, man, okay. Well. So I guess I have to occupy... I'm going to have to take these two. These extra two provinces... I mean, it's whatever. I can raise him, so. Um, and I suppose we'll take all his money, because why not, you know? <clears throat> and then we'll piece him out and take full annexation. Ooh, got a couple of dogs barking around outside. Okay. All of his money. And we're overextended right now, but it shouldn't be an issue because we're going to raise all of this. Don't care what the dev is, don't care what the um, trade item is, we are raising it all. A lot of people get upset about raising certain provinces. I am a horde, and I will raise all of them. 27 dev. So let's see here. This one is causing how much overextension, does it say? <clears throat> Which province was that? Hey look, it's you. We're in the state of you. Um, so Lhasa has 
27% overextension. We are going to raise it and lower its dev by eight. 19. That's pretty good. All right. Um, we're just going to continue to raise all this. Can't raise some of this. Okay, so I think I raised everything. Looks good to me. Let's go one day. Um, yeah, it hasn't refreshed yet, so let's go till... There we go. And we're not over 100%. You cannot beat that, man. We just took so much land and we're not even overextended. Look at that. <clears throat> we just took this entire trade node. The entire trade node, almost. <laughs> and our name is bigger now. That's awesome. All right, let's also start annexing you. Um, we can influence you. Very good, I'll do that. Who do we want to rival? Russia, Mamluks, Bamanis for sure. Ottomans I'd rather not. I would actually rather ally them, but it doesn't look like they're gonna be interested. Mamluks, I suppose, is a good choice. Number one great power. Oh, I haven't even checked that. Look at that. Oh, baby. With the fall of Ming, we uh, quickly took over. Nobody really had a chance, so. Now we just wait so we can start annexing him. Let's also root out that corruption a little more. And let's lower that army maintenance. We can put some guys up to... Um, let's just get you guys all joined up. This is all mountains. Uh, okay, so let's actually not do that. Let's have you guys... 18 supply limit. Goodness. 22 over here. 32. Let's go over here to these highlands so we don't take a bunch of attrition for no reason. Alright. See if we can do a little tiny bit. Okay, here we go. Let's get you guys shuffle split. And, uh... We are up to tech on mill again. So it looks like we're deving again. Though I can hold on to some of this and it will be in my best interest because we'll be able to dev up for global trade. Which is going to fire pretty soon here. <coughs> that being said, I should probably up these as well. I could also collect here. And Samarkand. What's one that I don't really transfer a whole lot? This one. Chengdu. Um, I have no zero trade power in Nippon. So let's see if this changes our 36.6 and we'll check back in a couple months. <clears throat> so we do not have the Diplo rep to Annex you? Is that what that says? So let's actually see if we can get a Diplo rep guy. Diplo rep, please. We claim air. So we're still going to get a ton of attrition. Uh, they can have some separatism. That's fine. Okay, and then we're just going to split these guys up here. And uh, still no Diplo rep. <clears throat> just waiting on the Diplo rep. Still no Diplo rep. Maybe eventually. Tribes. really rather not lose the army tradition so I'll just pay them off <coughs> that's fine let's get that guy we're still taking attrition here Jeez, oh Pete still no okay this is a little bogus so we just need to annex Bhutan so he is a tributary state of me 
I need that land for that. Okay, no. So... The Kagan and the Dalai Lama. <clears throat> so... Ha! Huh, we can switch our state religion... Tibetan monks for the next 50 years, giving missionary strength and cost. Or all own provinces in these area lose autonomy and gain and lose unrest. Yeah, no, we're definitely not going to do that. Okay. That is so strange. Okay. Um, give me my dang Diplo rep guy, please. <sighs> this is outrageous. Let's just speed five it for a second here. Looks like Kashmir broke free. Timmy is imploding, which is really good. Still no mer um, Diplo guy. Here we go. Now we annex Jin, and it's going to take 50 years. Okay, we are just going to seize this province then, if that's not going to happen. So we are going to seize this Ziu Han dude. It will increase his liberty desire by 40%. How's that? Some good numbers there. Um, his capital is here, but it is cheaper to dev these guys down here. So I will give him some mill points down here. That will keep him loyal. <clears throat> and with that... We need one more stab. Oh, that gives us some overextension. I think I might have to have this cord. Core province, yeah. So, should I? I'm not gonna raise it. I'm exactly at 100% overextension. I actually didn't think about the overextension. Uh, well, if that's the case, I guess I'll get rid of the Diplo rep guy and go back to trade if I can. Just waiting on things to core up, so it's not a big deal. Um, Mingu Timur, lose some money. Okay, that's fine. Just waiting on the cores. One's going nice and slow. Okay, let's build some more of these guys. Global trade is right around the corner. And we can get tech, so we will do that. Very good, truce with Russia is up. We could attack him any time. We probably should do that soon, huh? I'm going to form you on first, so let's actually get you guys up here, though. Very good. Now we have literally no unrest anymore. That's so dumb. Gain a general of 40 tradition, who's going to be significantly worse than all my other generals? Or maybe not. Uh, I think it's this guy. We can still have them, so I guess we will. I, I don't know. Seems a little unnecessary, or maybe it was this guy is who we just got. Secure the faith. Oh, an extra tolerance of true faith to the end of the game. Okay, very cool. That's a nice modifier. Very good. Just waiting on this core. We'll declare war on Russia as soon as this is done. I think we need one more stab in order to form the Great Yuan. Is the Emperor of China. Oh, dang. I forgot. Um, Does he have any allies? Cheng Sheng. Okay. Let's actually just send 
this guy over here an 18 stack. <clears throat> I uh, I forgot about that, so it's a bit of an overstate oversight on my part. How are our forts looking? We need one more fort here to protect this zone of control. But aside from that, they're looking pretty good. So we'll get one built up over there. We must protect our trade. Our trace, truce with you is up May 61. So I suppose we could attack Russia at the same time. So let's get our army maintenance turned up. Who's your allies? Wallachia and Georgia. <clears throat> Georgia wouldn't be joining. Or maybe they would. Where's Georgia? It's an OPM down here. The Dzungars. Dzungars. Very cool. Okay. Um, so we got a couple more claims. Permanent claims down here. Let's improve with them. Let us attack with show superiority. And we will immediately jump on. Yeah, that's fine with you. Oh, that's a gold province. Very nice. You guys will just start slowly marching over here and wait for one of his big old stupid stacks to run in and just stack wipe them. It's just funny how outnumbered we are. Man, yeah, it's a, it, okay. It's more even than it probably was in the last war with him, but. We're gonna, we're still gonna beat up on him pretty bad. And we're just waiting until, what was that, December of next year? May of next year. So one year from now. What do these siege take? As many as it takes. Oh, okay. This is pretty defensive, actually. <clears throat> Mountains and luck. Ideally, he attacks me. Though this is mountains, so, ooh. Okay, that's actually kind of not ideal. Though I think we may win. That's tough. Okay, we're gonna stack wipe him. No, we didn't stack wipe him, but he lost way more than we did, so that's fine. Let's get you guys over here to Kazan and get you guys over here to defend in the middle. <coughs> reform into monarchy or theocracy. That's a reform into a pub or republic. That's a no for me. I will keep my glorious tribal dang it let's actually force march you down here oh he decided otherwise i'm gonna actually wait for him to lock in we might actually win the siege which which would be ideal nope we didn't that's fine so we're force marching in that way we can oh he's sending lots of men in here we actually lost way more than he did not su not surprising though I should have left the artillery on there, but that's okay. Hey, look at us converting. We converted a whole province. First one of the game, baby. So we got that fort. Let's get these guys together and see if we can get a nice little doom stack. Oh, looks like we had a... F oh, he's just fleeing. Alright, so... Let's see if we can catch you guys over here. Supply limit's a good one. And Cav Shock. Eighty percent ahead of time. <laughs> We're gonna do it. This is gonna literally make us unstoppable. Fourteen to seventeen Miltech. Are we the first one in the world to have that? Oh, we can see Europe now. Cool. Sixteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Look at this. How's that for a map mode, huh? I like that. <laughs> that's really good all right we're gonna wrap this war up in the next one hope you guys are enjoying the series if you are please show your support leave a like on the video it's super appreciated and it helps the channel out a lot if you want to see some more of this you can uh, subscribe and if you want to check out the discord the link is in the description down below with all that being said this is chewy shoot and i'll catch you guys later